Hey, welcome to Witty Apparatus, where we treat it like the barbershop, but you ain't got to wait in line to get this scoop. And there's some big news bubbling on social media right now. So for those of you who don't know, Maybach Music's uh, Rick Ross dropped his brand new album last night, Rather You Than Me, and man, I'll give a full breakdown of the of the uh, record on a separate video, but man, I'm from the beat selection to everything, it's, it's a monster, man. And he's talking about different subjects that are probably going to make headlines on each track, man. He's talking about big stuff. And he's he's really talking about uh, economics, you know, urban economics. He's really harping on that. I guess, you know, he's learned some lessons, opening up all those wing stops, and he's got some advice for the youngsters out there, and I ain't mad at that. But I'm going to be talking about a different subject on this video, and that's him going at Nicki Minaj. Now, everybody is saying, you know, social media is up in a stir, saying that he is throwing shots at Nicki Minaj. Now, on a track by the name of Apple of My Eye, he's pretty much talking about different scenarios. It's a track that's featuring Raphael Sadiq, and it's real melodic. It's a nice, nice melody, very smooth track. There's a lot of real smooth tracks on this album. And he drops a line in there where he says, hey, I told Meek he, should, he shouldn't trust Nikki. Instead of beefing with your dog, you just give him some distance. You know what I'm saying? That man, I, it sounds like he, well, he's obviously giving Meek advice because he may, names Meek, Meek by name. And he's obviously talking about Nicki Minaj because he names Nicki Minaj by name. And said, basically, I told him not to trust her. You know, instead of beefing with your dog, you know, give him some distance. Because for those of you who don't know, Meek Mill was in a beef with, with Drake that a lot of people said Meek Mill ended up on the, on the bad side of that beef. I mean, I know this firsthand because I saw the difference because it, in the area I live in, I mean, it is nothing for big artists to come through. We're booking, they're booking big artists all the time. And when Neek, when Meek Mill came through before the, the Drake beef, it was like, I don't, it was like any A-list star would have came through. I mean, everybody was in the place to be. Other big stars, after the beef after the beef happened, and he came he came into town. Oh man, it just was not. It was just not the same, man. It was a smaller venue, and it was just it was just not the same. Uh, it, it it was it was it wasn't sad to see because he still packed the place with his core fan base, but it just shows you the level of taking that hit on a beef sometimes. And I don't really. <laughs> When I look at this bar, this half a bar, or even just a line, it's not even half a bar, it's it's really advice. It's like him telling them, yo, man, this is advice, and you learn for that. And his next follow-up statement after that was, we all make mistakes. You know, you just got to learn from them. And he's telling them, don't ever make that mistake again, man. Don't ever make somebody that you're dating with the the uh the prize or make them what you're what you're trying to attain especially when you're young man because meek mill i i know he's pretty young i know him i know drake just turned 30 i'm not even sure if meek mill is 30 yet but you know he he's it's a lesson he needs to learn now i do i think he's taking a shot at nikki no i don't think that's a shot at nikki i think that's just a, assessing the situation he's looking at what happened between drake and Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill and saying, look, man, I told you don't really trust that because she's from a different camp. And you know, all the different rap camps, they click up, man, and they all look after each other like family. You got MMG, you got uh, Young Money, Cash Money, you got Rich Gang over there, and then you got Good Music, and they all pretty much, and Top Dog, let me not forget my West Coast cats, and they all pretty much look after their own camps, man. It's like him him messing with a girl from a it's like him messing with a girl from a different hood and then not expecting her to go back to that hood and talk about him after it's all all bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just or her coming in pillow talking to him about dudes from that hood and, and then him reacting off of that. That that was that was a bad mistake on his part. I don't believe in pillow talking and taking that information and acting with it. It always ends up bad. You just gotta you got to bury your head in that stuff and just use it to analyze situations. You really just don't use it to act on, in my opinion, because you never know people's motives. Not saying that Nikki had bad motives or, or anything, you know, was out to, to get Meek or anything in any kind of situation like that. I don't believe that was the case here. I just think that Meek Mill should have probably taken that advice. It probably have been better for his career. But do I think Rick Ross is dissing? I don't, I don't think so. I want to know what y'all think, though. Please leave, drop a comment in here. Let me know what you think. And, well, 
if I don't talk about this as well, I I I, I wouldn't be doing this this post justice. Meek Mill has has also been on Instagram, and he's been talking. He's been dropping a lot of Instagram posts with sublims, and everybody's saying he's aiming those at Nikki. So I mean, that doesn't help the argument. It makes it look like Rick Ross and Meek Mill are both going at Nikki. And I'm gonna drop some of the. I'm definitely dropping those Instagram posts here, and you guys could could be the judge of it yourself. Like I said, this is open for discussion. Please let me know what you think, man. Now, for me, on my part, where as far as Rick Ross is concerned, it just sounds like somebody giving that big homie advice, you know. But on Mick Mill's concern, I don't know, man. It, it's it's so much Instagramming, so much Twitter fingering. I wish they would take away this brother's social media, his social media accounts, because I mean, it has not been good for his career. But that's another issue. With that, this your boy, Big Man. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we out of here. Peace.